So if you've got a driving test coming up in the near future, here's a few checks that you can do on your vehicle to make sure that your test is not getting refused. So first of all, go out to your vehicle, have a look at the tires and make sure that there's no rips, tears or bulges out of the side of the tire wall and you've got sufficient tread on top of the tire. So you can have a look at that yourself and make a decision on that as to whether you have good tires. Second of all, your particular, so your tax insurance and NCT, have a look at the registration that's printed on them and make sure that, that corresponds with the one that's actually on the plate of the car. And your insurance disc, make sure that green strip is still intact. You'd be surprised the amount of errors that get made clerically with people when they're typing them in in these offices and they actually put the wrong number or digit in somewhere along on the cert. And by the time you get it, you just assume it's correct you pop it in and it doesn't always be. So you, as the driver of the car, the onus is on you to make sure that you're checking to make sure all the details are correct. Make sure you have a set of L plates in the front of the car. They don't necessarily have to be on the glass. They can be on the body of the car as well. Probably better off being on the body. So get yourself some magnet plates there. And then your brake lights are um, all in order. So all check all your three brake lights. If you have three brake lights or two or whatever it is, just make sure that they're all function. That'll make a huge difference. And your indicators are working left and right. You'd be surprised at the amount of times when people come up here and they realize that one of them are out. So you can do all these checks prior to coming up here. And then if you have a look just on your dash of the car, just to make sure that there's no warning lights like engine management lights, airbag warning lights or anything like that. And um, so you can make sure that anything like that is all rectified through a mechanic before you even come up here. And I think if people were to follow the advice just in this video alone, it would save people hundreds of thousands of euro every day on having to re reapply for the driving test just because we can't get these things in order. So there you go. The information is in this video. So can't say that you didn't know. So there you go.